What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about Norwegian exclamations and sounds. This has to do with language, and I'm very excited for this because it's a part of language that you never think about. And now that I think about it, of course it makes sense that People in Norway make different exclamations than Americans. Like in America, we're out here being like, when we're surprised, we're like, huh? Or, huh? Or, you know, stuff like that. Or if someone says something to you kind of strange, you might go, huh? Or, hmm. You know, there's a lot of different sounds you can make based on whether you're surprised or excited or mad. There's these noises that we make uh, based on where we live and what our language is. And today, I wanna learn what exclamation sounds do Norwegians make. I think this is gonna be very entertaining to see how unique they are compared to America. Or, you know, in America, you know, people looking at America probably think the noises we make are kind of strange too and entertaining and unique. So, I don't know, it's just a very beautiful and fascinating part of language. We are going to talk a little bit about Norwegian sounds. So, sounds or exclamations that Norwegians make for different types of situations, yes. basically. Some of these I hear everywhere, every day, and I myself have started to make some of these. <laughs> I can... <laughs> I can absolutely see that happening. It's like a part of language you don't expect, but when you're living in a different country, if you're living in Norway, you're gonna start picking up on some of the sounds Norwegians make. Like, not even words, just sounds. In certain situations, I feel like they're super handy. The one I'm going <laughs> to start with, in my opinion, is the most common one, and it's the mmm sound. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Do you get, is it like two parts? Is it like, mmm, or is it, mmm, or, <laughs> okay. So you use this sound mostly when you're agreeing with something. So oh. if you're talking on the phone or talking to someone and that person is just like speaking with you and you're like, hmm, you're agreeing with what that person is telling you. Wow. Mmm, like that? Hmm. Mmm, mmm. Well, that is such a unique, like, cadence, like, rhythm. In America, if you're on the phone and you're trying to agree with someone, you could, you could use something very, very similar to mmm, but you'd say mm-hmm or mmm. It, <laughs> so it's, it's like almost identical, both using that mmm sound but in America, it's like, mm-hmm, or mm, mm. But in Norway, it's specifically, mm, like that. I think I'm doing it correctly, I don't know, but that is so funny. Just that little difference. You're agreeing with what that person is telling you. <laughs> on the phone is quite handy, because if you're talking with someone, you know the person is on the other side listening to you because you just keep listening to mmms. <laughs> but then <laughs> yeah. you can also use it in like a surprise way. Mm -hmm. Or in like a bad way, I guess. Mm -hmm. So this is the first sound oh. and it's I really think it's the most common one. Wow. Yeah, this is so similar in America, but just a different rhythm to it. A different pitch or... <laughs> like in America, you could be like, hmm? Or like, hmm. Or hmm. Or like, mm hmm. But that's all. <laughs> it's like its own little language. What the heck? Okay, I, I'm enjoying this. The next one, in my opinion, it's something that some people really do it and some people don't really do it. Okay. When I lived in Trondheim, there was so many people who did this sound and here okay. in Oslo sometimes you have like one or two people but not so many. Okay. And it's the yes sound in Norwegian which is ja but they kind of like 
breathe in when they say ya. Yeah. So it's I, I don't know how to do it, but I can try. It's yeah. kind of like ya. Yeah. Something like this, like ya. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I... <laughs> what does that mean? I I don't think there's anything like that in America. I've never heard of that. Ya yeah. yeah. Yo, yeah. like that, like kind of thing. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, it's like excitement. It's like happy excitement or. I, I really don't know how to do it, but if you're Norwegian, you know what I'm talking about. And I don't know where this sound comes from. Huh. If it's like when you're really excited when you say yes, or if it's just something like people do without even noticing, like it doesn't really have a purpose. Right. This is interesting because. Ya ja is a word, but it's really in the way you say it that makes it uh, a little unique here. Huh. And only some Norwegians do this uh, by the sound of it. If you know the reason, just write it down in the comments because huh. I'm not Norwegian, I'm Portuguese. I just moved to Norway in 2014. So all of the things I'm saying is like by experience, by right. living here, all of these years. So if you're Norwegian and if you know this, please help me out in the comments <laughs> down below. The next sound or like four. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't, I can't even do it. Word <laughs> or expression is when you don't understand something, you go like, huh? Or huh? I know a lot. Wow, so, okay. Like that is exactly the same as America, as American English. You might go, huh? Or huh? Yeah, exactly the same. Why is that exactly the same, but mm is different, huh? A lot of people in other countries do this as well. Like in yeah. Portugal, you do this sometimes, like, huh? Like, what are, you, what are you saying? Yeah. But here... When you think about it, huh? That's such a weird exclamation. Like, how did that get invented? Like, how is that a part of all of our languages? Huh? Like, how did... <laughs> why that? Why that word? Hmm. I don't know. I'm getting too philosophical on that. In Norway, it's a little bit different. Maybe I'm not even, like, doing it correctly. Oh. When you don't understand, or when a person is speaking maybe a little bit, like, in a low voice, you do like, huh? And you... Some Norwegians put the hand like this. Huh? Which I think huh? it's so funny because it's not like you're going to hear better if you kind of like <laughs> they... No, no, no. It's to let them know that you cannot hear them very well. Like, huh? Like, yeah, Amer exactly the same in America. You do it without thinking, but they're just like, huh? <laughs> the next sound, you do it when you are disgusted with something, when something is like disgusting oh. or not very nice. And okay. you do like, ash. <laughs> and Ush, that, there, that is completely different. I've never heard of that. Ush, what is that, right? Not very nice. And you do like, ush. Ush. Well, in America, <laughs> ush, if you saw something disgusting or ugly, you would go like, ew, or like, ew, um, or like, ugh. Uh, but in Norway, it's ush, ush. Like that? Is it, am I doing it right? <laughs> <laughs> and this is also something you hear so much, even like when you're walking in the street, especially huh. with younger like generations. There was like, ush, you know, like huh. oh, so disgusting. This one huh. I've started to use huh. sometimes as well when it's like super disgusting or like inconvenient or like, Ugh. I just use like ush expression. I could see it, like I could see that living in Norway, like eventually something disgusts you and you're just like ush. And it's like, it's kind of satisfying. It's kind of satisfying. But it's a lot like the American, like, ugh, or ew, kind of thing. Mm. The next one is something that I have still to get used to. For <laughs> me, it sounds very rude. Although now I understand that it's uh, not rude at all. It's oh. just like an expression. Okay. But if someone would tell me this in Portugal, I would be like, what? <laughs> you use this when you want to call someone. When you want that someone look, look at you or like call that person. Oh, if you want to get someone's attention, basically. Or like call his attention, you know, and you just say do. And it means 
you, like you there. <laughs> In Portuguese, it sounds so rude, like. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. In America, that would be rude. Um, even if in, in America you were like, you, you there, that would be rude. So does do mean you in Norwegian? Saying do. So it's like saying you. Uh, I could see where that would get uh, someone's attention. So it sounds like very useful. In America, I guess you might be like, hey, or something. Be like, hey. And any more than that, and it would be a bit rude. Yeah. Like, tu e, tu. In English, I think it also sounds a little bit, like, harsh at least. But yeah. in Norwegian, it's so common. And huh. sometimes Norwegians even start with this in the beginning of the sentence if they want to ask something to someone. Uh. And they would say, like, do. Do you write the report? Or if someone, like, is passing by and they say, like, do. I'm still getting... Huh. huh. Well, it's nice that Norwegians don't get offended by this. It actually sounds very useful to get people's attention you and you can do it like kind of aggressively be like do and really get someone's attention that actually sounds super useful because in america it can be difficult to get someone's attention because you really we don't want to come across as rude so we don't want to be like you you there hey uh that would be like way too much so i actually like this from a utility standpoint i'm used to this when people start talking with me like that, I was like, what? <laughs> the next one, I think it's my favorite one. And it's, oofa my. <laughs> you say, oofa my, oofa my. I've never heard of that. Uh, what is it? I'm going to guess what that means. Oofa my. That sounds like mamma mia or like, whoops, oofa my. Do you do that when you uh, make a mistake? Uh, like you drop something and you're like, oof, am I? <laughs> I'm totally guessing here. I don't know. This when it's when you're like surprised, but uh, maybe not in a very good way. Like, oh my! Or for example, when you're telling an embarrassing story about yourself and you're like, you get like pity of yourself or or like embarrassed of yourself, and it's like, oof, am I? I. <laughs> Ah, uh, I think I was, I was kind of close, like, when you're surprised or something. Um, <laughs> oof am I. Maybe it's just the way she said it. Sounds like, oh my, like, oof am I. Uh, like, oh my gosh, or something. But also when you're embarrassed. When you're embarrassed. Uh, if you're, if you're an American and you're embarrassed, you might say like, oh man, or something like that, I guess. I don't know. I don't think there's anything in American English that's exactly like oof am I. <laughs> I like it. I really don't know how to translate this expression to English. If you guys have like a better way of explaining it, just write huh. it down in the comments because it's so hard. The next one, it's maybe used the most with like the younger generation and it's uh, sad. And it's like... Sad? Sad? Your generation. And it's, uh, Sajd? I'm not exactly sure how she's pronouncing it. And it's like a shorter version of Sidious, which is seriously. Instead of they saying, like, <laughs> seriously or Sidious, they say Sajd. <laughs> that's got such an attitude. Oh, that's, that's got such an attitude. I can picture kids, teenagers, using this. Instead of seriously, seriously. It's like sad, like <laughs> with the whole face, sad. Like, am I doing it correctly? Uh, oh, said? I think it's sad. Said, sad, okay. The next one is also one of my favorites and it's hot and good. <laughs> and this okay. means- This sounds positive. This sounds, I don't know why, I'm just guessing, but like this one sounds good, like positive. One of my favorites and it's hot and good. Hot and good. Maybe it's the way she's saying it is very friendly. Hot a good. <laughs> and this means, oh my god. You just use it like you, you would use, oh my god. If oh, oh, uh, that's not next. That is not necessarily a positive exclamation, but very useful. Very useful. There are many, many Americans every day 
like to be like to say, oh, my God, like for all sorts of reasons, like when they're annoyed, like, oh, my God, or like surprised, like, oh, my God. Uh, so this this has a lot of use in America. Oh, my God. You just use it like you, you would use. Oh, my God. If you're okay. like surprised. The next one okay. is hard. A good a bad word. So you shouldn't like teach this to kids. I guess. Oh, this is a bad word. Bad word alert. Yes, it's not like the baddest thing of all. Like people say this even like at the office in something. So I mean, the other week I literally reacted to a video about Norwegian swearing. So I, I think I've already opened this door a little bit. Uh, and in that video, someone someone was talking about cutting people's heads off and going to the bathroom in their neck and stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anything's better than that. This thing of all, like, people say this even, like, at the office in something, so... Okay. It's not so bad. It's, like, the acceptable bad word in a region, and it's fun, but... Fun? Acceptable bad word. That's funny. I don't know if there's an American bad word that's okay to use at work. Uh, I don't know. Fun? Acceptable bad word in a region, and it's fun, but it's it also is short for fee fun, which which is like the bad word. Oh. But they just say the the last word, so like fun. I wouldn't say it's like oh shit, you know. Huh. I, don't know if I can say bad words in the YouTube, so I'm really sorry <laughs> if I'm offending. Oh well, well, we are we already said it. Fun. It's the second word. Okay, interesting. Yeah, maybe there is kind of an American thing, like an American at work might say like, damn, or something like that. Someone. Yeah, you just say this when you hurt yourself or when you're like surprised in the bad way or when you do a okay. mistake, you just do like, oh, fun. I uh -huh. really hope you guys have enjoyed <laughs> okay. this video. If you did, give it a- It sounds a lot like fun. Sounds a lot like a American curse word that starts with an F that you definitely would not say at work, so. A massive thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have more suggestions of like sounds or uh, exclamations, <coughs> just write them down in the comments below. And also tell us which of these expressions are the ones you use the most. In, like huh, huh. I really enjoyed this. That was, that is fascinating. Most of these I'd never heard before. Um, what, some of them were kind of similar to American ex exclamations, funny enough. But what, I think what I really liked was the, the ones that only exist in Norway. Some of these, ex some of these sounds and exclamations are very entertaining. I liked this. This was by Mona Me, and I liked it. I got to give the video a like. It was very, very entertaining. Very, uh informative as well. Are there any comments about these? I'm wondering. Um, that breathing in yes exists in, yeah, like the ya, 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 or whatever it was, exists in Northern Sweden. It is a joke about a vacuum cleaner, okay. Uff, hoof a mag can be used in many scenarios. The closest expression would be aw, not like cute aw, but aw, you you failed the exam, like aw. Okay, like aw, hoof a mag. <laughs> However, hoof is more extensively in Norwegian. For example, if your friend wrecked their car, you may respond by saying hoof. If the dog dies, you may say hoof. Huh, interesting, interesting. Um... Saying ya ja while inhaling is called ingressive speech. It's common in Scandinavian languages. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I live in Denmark and the ya ja while inhaling is very common in Danish as well. Huh. Interesting. A lot of people here seem to be familiar with the the inhaling while saying ya ya. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Uh, fascinating. Fascinating stuff. This is so entertaining, learning about, because th these are not really words, but they are, like, and they don't exist 
uh, in English. They're just uniquely Scandinavian or Norwegian, and I've never heard them before, so that was fun. That was good. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video as well, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture and how it relates to America and stuff like that, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.